The police were able to arrest three suspects after they robbed and crashed their getaway vehicle. And there were similarities between the getaway vehicle from last night's robbery and some that happened over the weekend. But take a look at the scene from last night. Police didn't give too many details on the three suspects who were arrested just before 930 last night in the Logan Square neighborhood. But we're told the suspects robbed the 51 year old woman on the 2000 block of Mozart before crashing the white SUV. Police have not said if the suspects are connected to the carjacking that happened on Sunday night on the 1200 block of North Milwaukee where a woman's white SUV was stolen and possibly used in a robbery that left a woman in the hospital. But this crime has become too familiar with the area. Over the weekend, multiple robberies took place in the Logan Square, Wicker Park, and Bucktown neighborhoods. One of those happened at the Illinois Auto Repair Shop off of St. Louis. Ring doorbell video captured the moments the suspect hopped out of the vehicle. One of the victims said his wallet and $2,000 were stolen from him. And we did speak to 36 Ward Alderman Gilbert Villegas about the string of robberies. He says these suspects need to be held accountable for their actions. Police officers right now, they're short staffed. Uh, we're, we're, we're trying to get as many police officers on, on, on as quickly as possible. Um, but it's, we're going to take a little bit of time to get there. Uh, but in the meantime, when these offenders are arrested, all we're asking for is the state's attorney to hold them accountable. Uh, that's all we're asking for. Um, let them have their day in court, but we got to get these folks off the street. In Area 5, detectives are investigating, but so far they have not been able to determine if these robberies are connected, but they still need your help. If you have any information that could lead to an arrest in any of these robberies, they want you to contact them immediately. For now, we're outside of the 14th District Police Department here in Logan Square on Glen Marshall, WGN News.